Seeker warning. This game contains loud sounds and flashing lights. Blah blah. Tenorizes is a part control limited environment. Tended for room scale only. 1.5. Otherwise, bad experience. Blah blah. Welcome to the Shattered of the Light! <laughs> this game is actually <coughs> for free to play game like VR kind of experience this is actually quite an amazing game it, the the heart aspect is fantastic right, I'm gonna flip this down to 1.5 because let's be honest I XA hey right, I'm gonna flip this to 1.5 but 1.5 because well, I don't exactly have a large play area, so there, that's gonna be that. And I, I love this game a lot. Like it, I don't know the best way to describe it. Really, it's it nails the horror, like environment, the atmosphere, just so well. Like it's not something I can just explain, <clears throat> but rather. So, but you already got the play space set. Got the tutorial for the flashlight here, which we're gonna need. Let's start by flipping the switch, and we're in this run room here. We can open this, and we can take uh, these. I don't, I don't want you. you can go away. You can grab this. It looks like ink or something. I don't, I don't want you. Yeah, you can go away. Um, sir, whatever you are, you can go away. I'm just going to empty out my locker real quick and close it up. I said, it's closed. You're not going to stay shut? Okay, fine, whatever. I guess we're going to want to spin, flip this wheel here real quick. Um, this. Isn't exactly something that can open. It's a door that's slashed pretty shut. It's not gonna budge like at all. But what we're gonna have to do is, I guess, board this lift and flip this. We're going down. We're going down. Down to this new room here. Okay, flip that open, and we got our best friend. Uh, I said our best friend, the flashlight, and we can play. Thank you. Uh, I could have sworn this play, played something. I'm trying to open this. You can't get out. There you go. Took long enough. Whoa. What was, what's that? Uh, is there something up? You can kind of see there's a staircase going up, but... There's nothing you can actually do about that. Just gotta flip this. That turns everything on. And opens up these shutters here. You can see right outside. And the lights didn't last very long. There's something on the other side of the door. Like, right there. At least that's where that comes in. That the staircase comes into play. Even though you can't actually open it. Alright, the green light. And now let's... Pour the lift. And we're going down even further. <coughs> and 
this new area here. And make sure our close the lift. Okay. Now we'll try what we want. We cannot open this door. It's locked. So we're gonna have to go through this narrow walkway. I, like I said, this game nails the horror atmosphere perfectly. Playing into one's claustrophobia, like how this space is just so super narrow and everything. But, we try to open this. I'd... Yeah. That door isn't even latched. Playing off of one sphere of height, I have to just carefully nearly just walk through here and you know, you kind of feel feel the fear of gravity just kind of wanting to pull you down. And I guess the fear of the unknown as well. Can't open this door, it's also locked. And the door sh is shut behind us. We can't go back, we're trapped. But we can go forward this way. And up, up and around. And there, there's someone over there. That can, we can see that as a shadow over there. And opening the door and is it actually anything over there? Because I saw a shadow for a split second and it's just instantly gone. We're gonna wanna grab this key card and slip it in here. Okay, we're gonna wanna leave. And as we walk around right here, that door is still locked, but this door is open for us. I'm gonna close the door behind us. Okay. Now walking around this path right here. And we're in this room now. You can see I kind of poster here. Excuses are poor substitutes for results. That's actually true. That's, this is 100% true. Excuses are indeed poor substitutes for results. Never make excuses, only get better. Flip that wheel. And there's this right over here. Danger! Unauthorized personnel, keep out! Keep out, motherfuckers! Like, we can see kind of like a um, pipe system here. And we can kind of see those doorways over there. But, we can try to walk this way. And, we're walking on air. Yeah, we're walking in the air, so we can't actually do that. This is open for us. And my quest battery is low. Wonderful. I wonder if I even have the battery to get through this game. I'm gonna try. Going up! We're going up! Oh yeah. Okay, so back into the fear of being sucked down and dying from a massive drop. There. That is quite a long way down. Flip that up, opens up, and we can get out of this room at last. Whoa. There's all that noise. It's... Wow. Shit. That monster right up there. That monster has been tailing us this whole time. Okay. Now we find ourselves in this room right over here. 
where we can f find even more lockers, like having like a canteen or something like that. Like, okay, I could have sworn that was like metal or something. And we have a lot of capes all around, which is quite something, I guess. We can't actually attempt to play those. But, when I first played, this is where I got stuck. You can see I kept tape player on it right up there. And over here, if we go around, there's this tape player with a medication bottle that dropped on the floor. If we play, hit play, nothing. But if we go this way, where are you going? And we can keep walking around. Where are you going? <laughs> now, what you actually have to do is get around here and walk backwards. Walk the same way you came. And this television sit right here, sets of intelligence, that is the mark of you went the right way. And if we go in here, there are these televisions right here, plus a throw switch. We want to hit, we want to flip that. And we see some disturbing imagery. There's some really disturbing sounds. Break their way in. And looks like they've given up. something and it's here in the ventilation shaft where you gotta crouch down and go right, right through and uh oh I kind of wonder what happens if they stay here see the heartbeat I hear the heartbeat Something is coming, I can tell. I was wondering what happened if I stay here. There's nothing that instantly sails off. I guess nothing is happening. I guess we just have to leave. And the vent disappears. Something is coming. Something is coming. I've heard that. I 
Okay, what's what's going on? No! And yeah, that is the end of the game. Quite an amazing game, isn't it? Really hits the horror atmosphere really well. That's the only time it ever resorts to a uh, jump scare. But wow. This game, man. If you want a really good horror experience, I can't recommend this enough. Put that and go back to the main menu. Well, that was definitely something. Thank you for watching, of course. This is Klaus of Klaus TCB Meavers on, well, Twitch, and I guess um, Rumble, a data executive on Kick, that's K I C K, and YouTube. And I guess I'll see you guys next time.